Lights are out. Keep your eye on the black, blue, yellow, 37 of Grant Anderson too. Ando's had a tough couple of days. Rusty and Matt Eagle. O'Keefe to the inside. Rusty ran wide. O'Keefe sailed through the inside. Newton down low as Hickman hustles the top. Oh, my goodness me. Contact into one and the 45 goes over forwards. Rusty already exiting the car. Please put your hands together for Rusty Hickman. So I'm pretty sure Rusty can see the 15 car from here. We'll stop and have a chat with him before he gets there. So B main number two, one lap in. Eagle while running in third, contact and up and over is Rusty. So Jai O'Keefe was running in second. Ryan Newton also in striking distance of a transfer. Not forgetting we only take three. So just a friendly discussion over how it went down. You can see the intensity and the passion to try and make the big show. Well, let's have a look at the replay on the main straightaway. Rusty is walking back across thanks to Daniel Trucking for all of their Replay support. Well, that was almost at full speed. Glad you're okay, mate. We are glad you're okay. So I know that the 45 could certainly see the 15 going. Well, let's have a look at that. Just one more on that wall cam. There's no doubt he was upstairs and... Yeah. Well, we can all see it. We'll all make our own version. Good news is, Rusty that you're okay, and we're always glad about that. Hard racing, trying to make the show, mate. Yeah, just got a little bit how are you on the start there. Um, you know, we're both just going for the, the same part of the track. I just wanted to see what he had for breakfast this morning and compare apples with apples. Um, he probably couldn't have seen me, but I, I was there. Um, he just kept moving up, and it is what it is. It is racing, it just sucks, you know. I was running for that transfer spot. Um, that one hurt a little bit. Um, it was big, mate. We're glad to see you spring straight out. That's the primary thing. I know you're frustrated, and I know you've got a lane up there. That's wide and racy, but it happens so fast. Yeah, I'm just disappointed. You know, I have really wanted to make that feature, but I feel bad for Dave and all the boys that put in so much effort. Um, you know, we had a really fast race car. I'm really comfortable in that 45. Um, I feel as though we had a fast enough race car um, to definitely move forward in that feature, but, you know, just a shame that it had to end like that. You've had a great 10 days, two weeks with Dave Challens. I thought the romance was over 12 months ago and you get back together, hold hands, and it's all rosy. And, man, you were dynamite from a B-Main to a top three down at Avalon two weeks ago. And I don't want to remind you, but put it on the front row at the All-Star Challenge. There was 15 grand on the line and just the silliest little thing drops you there and nearly put it in the show, mate. It's been a hell of a two weeks. It has been. It is, it, it, you know, it's been good. There's been some ups and downs. You know, we're just... Dad and Dave, they've just been clicking together really well, which is good. We're heading back to America to give Knoxville another crack. Um, so, yeah, just big shout-out to Clean Fleet, Camden Signage, J&J Auto Racing, Higman Street Maintenance, Jet, Coxie, all the boys that have put so much effort in the car. Um, thanks to everyone. Premier, track's awesome. That cushion's massive. It would have been really fun to rip that. Um, you know, that's my jam, so uh, is what it is. You know you just called your team bosses Dad and Dave. You know the significance of Dad and Dave. It's like the old school thing, but it's just the way it rolled off. 
Good to see you back, Smiler, mate. We appreciate your passion and your enthusiasm. You know you'll fly the flag really high later in February over in WA. Good luck with it, mate. We appreciate the show tonight. Yeah, thank you. Hope everyone has a good night. Cheers. Come on, folks. Put your hands together for Rusty. I've got a feeling that little walk might have done him just good. Get a little bit of frustration out. Take a moment. He's passionate. He's fast. And he will go to the Medicos now, as we are always instructed to. Wow. Fighting for second. Second and third is certainly a transfer position. For the world to see, Tony Bockhoven, you love the passion. And as long as nobody gets hurt, it's all great racing. And unfortunately, one of them did not finish right there. And that had to be Rusty Hickman in this occasion. He will be back where you feel for Dave Challenge too. You could clearly see the smile on his face once again. We're always proud to see our car owners enjoying their racing, Tony. Yeah, and glad to hear that he's going to make another shot at Knoxville this year. He raced with us eight times uh, this past season between 360 and 410 competition. Picked up a 16th place run over at the Southern Iowa Speedway at the Front Row Challenge. And he did some racing uh, at Knoxville at Husitz. He raced with the All-Stars. Uh, he did some ASCS National Tour racing. So uh, he got around the states a little bit in 2022. And glad to hear they're going to come back again uh, in 2023. Yeah, the race car will be fixed. Dave and Dad know that. Papa Daz will be saying, we ain't done yet. That's his thing. We ain't done yet. I know his Rusty's fiance Stephanie, had never even seen a sprint car before she met him. And it's been a pretty wild old ride when you're Rusty Hickman's fiance. And uh, I'm sure that Steph's okay now. I'm sure that Sandy, 